Please. This is King Noble Black Supremacy. With this particular video, I want to talk about narrative multiplicity and interdimensional realm traveling. Now, I have to break that down because that sounds deep to a lot of people. I've said a mouthful. What exactly is that? Well, first, let's talk about narrative multiplicity. What that is, is that we exist on a plane where we can perceive or entertain multiple narratives that the space for multiple narratives to coexist simultaneously exists here. In so many words, you can look at things in a lot of ways And you can experience things based upon the many ways that you can look at things. That's a simple way to say it. But it gets deeper. So you have narrative multiplicity. A whole bunch of possible or potential narratives to be entertained and be perceived. That all run concurrent. The second part of this is that these narratives represent different realms within this dimension. So you can travel through different dimensions or different realms within this dimension to entertaining or perceiving your experiences from a particular narrative. So while you think you're just perceiving things and this is the way it is and this is the way you're looking at it, you're actually unlocking and opening up the gateway or the door to a particular realm that you're going to consciously enter or entertain or enter attain. So you're going to go into a particular realm now based on your perception. And it looks like reality to you. It looks like all there is. It looks like the truth or simply what's here. But there's a lot here. What's here is infinite. What's here is unlimited. What here has no boundaries. But your experience exists within a certain limit or has parameters based on your perception, based on the narrative that you entertain, that will be your experience. That will be how you perceive your reality and that will unlock certain realms and certain certain types of experiences of this plane that you can have. You will enter into them through having a particular narrative your narrative will impact that. Many are going to try to argue the multiplicity of narratives by saying there's only one truth. And I just for the sake of the argument, I'll accept that. Let's just say there's just only one truth. That's arguable. But even if there's only one truth, there's multiple ways that it can be perceived and how you perceive that truth will impact your personal experience of this reality, meaning that your experiences will be dictated based on what you perceive and how you react to your own perception to manifest new experiences in your life that reinforce your initial perception. Simply put. If you think a certain thing, you'll react to that thought and you'll create 
that which is consistent with that thought, that initial thought, you'll manifest that reality. You'll reinforce that. You'll live according to that. You'll make correlations in your experiences to keep manifesting that same paradigm. So even if there's only one truth that is there, how you perceive it will determine how you experience life here and what direction your life and your experiences could take on this planet. So your perception is very significant. Even if you say there's only one truth, your perception of that will determine your reality here. It will determine what you do and what you what you cause and what will be the effect and what you'll attract and what will be the outcome of that perception. Now, these realms, when we talk about narrative multiplicity and interdimensional realm traveling, these different realms all exist at the same time. And they interlap. So you can just switch planes at any point. You could switch realms at any point. Based on your thoughts. And what you're thinking could become your truth. If you continue to maintain your path along certain realms or certain narratives, that that could become the truth for you, no matter what no one else thinks, no, no matter what anyone else tells you, what you continue to think can, will become your truth. It will become the truth for you no matter what. So it will become your realm. It will become your paradigm. It will become what you have to live with. And what a lot of us don't realize is that we can change our experience and change the realm that we exist in simply by perceiving something else or changing our narrative or opening our mind to the possibility of something beyond our perception. But a lot of us is locked in certain narratives and that's our reality and no one can tell us anything different we'll argue that to the end we believe that's what it is not realizing that's what we're choosing that it's so much possibility and so much potential for things to be for things to manifest That nothing is limited to what you think about it right now. Nothing is limited to what to the thoughts that you have about it right now. It's no way. But your mind will hone in and lock in on certain narratives. That trap you into certain realms. That ultimately will become your truth. Some of us are confused. We don't know what truth we want to. We don't know how we want to perceive the truth or we don't know what we want to allow to become our truth. And one minute we see the black supreme reality. And the next minute we're overcome by a negative alternative narrative. And we kind of switch back and forth. From seeing the divine black reality and then slipping back into seeing a paradigm that is not reflective or not representative of our highest vision or highest version of who we are. We fluctuate back and forth because we think that the truth is outside of us. Not realizing that we're living our truths from within and our experience of the truth is determined by us and what journey and what course of action or what path or how we allow our life to unfold. 
that will determine our experience of the truth. And it's not over with. It's not completed. It's not written. You have a choice right now. The decision is yours right now. Of how you're going to experience the infinite possibility that lies here. But you have to, if you want something to become your dominant reality, what you call in a heaven, what you call in a nirvana, what you call in bliss, what you're calling happiness, what you're calling the life that you really want to live, if you want that to become your dominant reality, then your consciousness would have to stop fluctuating in between realms or going back and forth and entertaining two opposite or parallel realities. One extremely negative outlook or something that you really don't want or negates your highest vision and then the other one is extremely positive where it's all working out. It's perfect and you can see the perfection and the divine reality. That's, that's another. But you, you, you bounce back and forth. So you don't know which one you want to see at what time. You don't even have control over your mind. Because you don't realize you're the chooser in that. It's going to be your choice. And it's not about where you're walking to, but about where you're standing at. Because whether you're moving or not, the universe is always moving. But how you perceive its motions depend on where you're standing at and depends on what you stand on, what you stand in as and through. But can we take a stance in our consciousness or do we continue to entertain narrative multiplicity? Are we standing in a place where we're only looking at things from an omnidimensional perspective, but we're just landing on the most negative or the lowest frequency vibration perception that we can have while entertaining all the other ones? We entertain the ultimate positive. We entertain the perfection. We entertain the bliss. But we can only do that shortly we can only do that for for a very short amount of time and our mind drifts back into our own nightmares our own hellish perspective our own fears our own worries our own doubts we end up back at that narrative because we don't realize the multiplicity of narratives and the realm that we can enter into at this very moment, the realm that we can enter into right now. But what unlocks that door, what allows us to enter into that realm is a type of perception or the vibrational frequency of consciousness that we call perception. That's our key. To exist in this or that particular realm. All realms exist in simultaneously. Meaning your, your worst nightmare exists is there right now. Your worst fear, your lack, your doubt and limitation is there right now. It exists. But your highest vibrational frequency, your highest thought, highest vision, highest dream, highest fantasy exists right now too. Which one can you entertain? Which one can you hold in your consciousness, which one can you be steady on? Can you be focused on? Because that determines which realm you will enter into and what you will experience and how you will experience the infinity of the truth that is here. Very important piece. So our mind fluctuates day to day from immense joy, immense happiness to tragic sadness to total optimism, to fatalistic pessimism. And this realm will give you whichever one you want, but it determines what type of discipline or what type of control 
do you have on your mind to really stay centered and locked into a divine, heavenly, and blissful realm? Can you really lock yourself into that? Or do you have to keep either one entertaining the multiplicity of narratives or fluctuating from the highest to the lowest but not really taking a stance, not really being solid, not really being determined and definitive about the reality you want to experience because you, you recognize that you are the one in power, that you're the one in position, that you're the divine creator of this reality, that you're the manifest of this reality. Can you really stand in that? Do you have to entertain all of the negativity and all the possible and potential negative narratives that exist? Do you have to travel through those realms within a momentary second? Do you have to travel through all the realms of he the hell to, to make it back to heaven again? Do you have to continue to do that? Can you take a stance? We're inter interdimensionally traveling every single day because somebody told us that dimensions are outside of here. Not realizing that dimensions are inside of here, inside of you. And through thought and through consciousness, you travel and navigate through those different dimensions every day. You travel through different worlds. You're not just walking around in the same world, in the same reality. You're walking around in infinity, constantly entertaining linear possibilities. Picking and choosing, isolating. I had to go in on this. We're traveling realms every day. You're not leaving the same house. You're not walking the same street. You're not talking to the same people. You are navigating within realms within your inner consciousness. And the more that you get fixated on the divine reality, the more that will be the totality of your experience. The more your life will be reflected of that, reflective of that, the more happiness, joy, and bliss that you will have in your life. When your mind can stay centered on that divine black supreme reality as your dominant focus. When you have that type of discipline over your mind, that type of meditation, then you will be free, you'll be liberated. From all the mental programming and the mind hijacking of lower life form entities that capitalize off fear, lack, doubt, and limitation. This King Noble Black Supremacy, join my website, www.kingnobleuncensored.com. Subscribe to my new YouTube page, King Noble Guru. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification button and turn on your notifications for this site so you can get instant notifications every time I put up new information and new videos. Black Supremacy.